Red Consulting Group is a full service recruitment firm. We offer permanent contract and temporary solutions for businesses right across New Zealand and even a little bit offshore these days. I have a little saying that it's all about infiltrate and permeate. And that's what we want to do. We want to get into a business and use our commercial business skills and really make a difference. One of the things that we love about the recruitment offering we have is that we're recruiting at executive level right through to support staff. We get to have a lot of fun with what we're doing. We get to change people's lives and we get to change the bottom line profitability and future direction of New Zealand companies. We've been in business seven years and um, the first four years, the first five years were fabulous and then this little thing called the GFC came along and that was character building, which was interesting because I considered I had enough character before I got into business. But the great thing about the GFC was that as the business owner, I got to use a whole lot of skills that I hadn't had to use in quite a long time. We found out how sound our relationships were with our clients and our candidates. And even though the phones weren't ringing quite as often as they used to, our clients told us that when they needed us, that we would still be their preferred option. The GFC changed everything. We're still here and we're stronger and we're better and we're a more efficient business, we understand better the touch points and we also have felt ourselves for the first time in a very, very long time what happens to industries when the platform changes unexpectedly. I first learned about Ice House's programs as a result of having the privilege of watching a significant business person in New Zealand change. And in the end I said to that person, what's going on? You're different. And that person told me that they were doing something called an owner-manager program through the Ice House. And given the really positive changes I saw for that person and their business, I wanted to learn more. Not only did you get to hang out with people who work in totally different spaces and come from all different parts of New Zealand with some of the most interesting and unusual business operations, but you actually all had the same problems. And you may not have the same problems at the same time, but what I can do now today is I can pick up the phone and I can speak to Dave or I can speak with Andrew and say, hey, I remember you having this issue, what did you do? Or I can say, who do you know who can do this? I can just hang out with a whole lot of other owner managers who actually understand what it's like to be working in a business and to be acting in a manner which has so much influence on the other parts of your life and your space. The top three things I learned doing the Owner Manager Program. Um, first of all, um, it doesn't matter the size of your business, it depends more about how you go about it and what's your dashboard and what are your drivers and why you're doing it. I also learned that you can learn more from listening than by talking. I learned that it was good to be in an environment where you're almost stripped bare and exposed and I hadn't been in that situation where what I'd done and how I did it had been scrutinised for a long time. It was really great to be learning again and it was also great to find out that the people around you actually cared about how you did and they were there for you no matter what. I joined the league because why, why wouldn't I? My experience with the Ice House had been fantastic and I could say that I didn't have enough time to participate in the league, I could say that I just need to focus on my business because we're coming out of a recession and all those sorts of things. But I actually made a decision at the beginning of 2010 that I was going to say yes to everything and take up every opportunity. And I'm really glad I did. Um, already I've attended some amazing um, connecting functions with the league. And of course, you're learning. Not necessarily from the guest speaker, but maybe from the person you sit next to or you're just are bumping into over a cup of coffee. But for me, you've got to keep learning, you've got to evolve. And the Ice House League is all about giving people the opportunity to do that. I don't understand why somebody wouldn't want to take it up. I mean, for me, it's me time. Sure, I've got a million things that I could be doing in my office, but it's important that I actually spend time with people in that entrepreneurial space because it reminds me of all the great reasons why I got into business. It's hard to juggle responsibilities. I know, I've got a six-year-old, I've got a husband who's back at university full-time and we've got other businesses, but I tell you what, I don't regret it and I'm going to say yes to every single opportunity that comes my way. And that's the challenge I put down to you. Come on, be part of it.